Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Valerie and today we'll be sewing this skirt, but for much cheaper. So the original skirt is from Miu Miu and costs $1,000 plus. Actually, I couldn't find any website where it's available for sale right now. Anyway, I don't have that much money, so today I will show you how to make it yourself. This skirt is actually quite simple, so even if you're beginner at sewing, you'll be able to make it. And to make it even easier for you to sew, I've created a pattern. It's free, so click the link in the description and download it. So let's get into the tutorial. So to sew this skirt, we'll need the following materials. We'll need fabric, of course. I found this beige trench fabric. I like the color and I think this fabric is very similar to the fabric of the original skirt. Generally, you can choose any fabric you like, as long as it's not stretchy. We'll also need an interfacing, a 3cm wide elastic band, a separate and zipper, and a cord. Additionally, I bought cord ends, but they're optional. So first of all, print out a pattern and cut out all the pieces from the fabric. Note that some pieces are cut on the fold. Now we need to interface the pockets, to ensure they hold their shape well. Since my fabric is quite dense on its own, I'm going to interface only one side of the pocket. I think this will be enough. But if you have thin fabric or a lightweight interfacing, you can interface the entire pocket. And I'm going to interface one piece of the pocket flap. After that, fold the pocket in half, rise it together, and stitch around it with a seam allowance of 1 cm. Here, I left a small opening for turning it right side out. Now, I'm going to trim all the corners of the pocket and turn it right side out through the opening. After turning the pocket right side out, it's not necessary to stitch this open and closed as it will be covered by top stitching when we attach the pocket. Next to the pocket flap pieces, put them right sides together and stitch around in the same way. Trim the corners and turn it right side out. Now give all the pieces a good press. I'm going to transfer the markings from the pattern to the pocket flap. And now, along these lines, I'm going to press the sides. To form the corner, connect these fold lines like this and make a small stitch. After that, the corners can be trimmed and optionally finished with an overlocker or a zigzag stitch. With the pocket piece, we do the same. Press the sides and create the corners. The pockets can be set aside for now. Let's work on the main piece. Firstly, I'm going to finish all the edges of the skirt on the overlocker. This isn't necessary, you can leave the edges as they are if your fabric doesn't fray. Or you can also finish the edges using a zigzag stitch or a mock overlock stitches on a sewing machine. The areas where the loops will be located needs to be interfaced. I'm going to be using this seam tape interfacing, but you can also simply cut out a small piece of interfacing. And now I'm going to make the loops. I'm going to make the loops on a sewing machine. Many sewing machines have this function, so I don't think you should have any problems with this. But if your sewing machine doesn't have this function, instead of making loops, you can insert grommets. Now we can sew on the zipper. But before doing that, I need to shorten my zipper first, because it's too long. Zippers are always shortened from the top. So I'm going to mark the lens I need and add an extra 2 cm to that lens. Then I cut it off. Now these extra 2 cm need to be cleared of teeth. 
This can be done with pliers, but I don't have them, so I removed them with a hammer. It didn't turn out perfectly, but the tails won't be visible anyway. Now, to prevent the super slider from sliding off, we need to create an obstacle for it. So I'm going to take a needle with thread and close the last tooth of the zipper like this, forming a bump of threads on it. With the other part of the zipper, I did the same thing. Now I'm going to separate the zipper and align it parts with the markings on the skirt, with the right sides facing down. I'm going to sew on the zipper using a zipper foot. After that, fold the seam allowance like this and make a stitch. Here's what it should look like. This needs to be done with all the edges of the zipper. Also, the zipper needs to be top-stitched, but we will do this after inserting the elastic. I cut the elastic to the lengths I need, I simply wrapped it just below my waist, where the skirt will sit, and cut the required length for a comfortable fit. Then, align the elastic with the top seam allowances like this and make a stitch. After that, close the waistband with a straight stitch. For convenience, I've basted the seam allowances to prevent anything from shifting. As you can see, I've also basted the bottom of the skirt. And now I'm just going to stitch all the way around, top and bottom. And now we can top stitch the zipper. I'm going to top stitch approximately 7 mm away from the zipper. Now let's go back to the pockets. As you can see, I've transferred the pocket markings onto the skirt, and now along these lines, we need to sew on the pocket. I'm going to sew it on simply with a top stitch. Since it's difficult to pin through this fabric, I'm going to use this fabric adhesive tape to secure the pocket in place. So I'm going to apply it, leaving a couple of millimeters from the edge for stitching, to prevent adhesive from getting under the stitch. Then I'm going to adhere the pocket along the marking lines and stitch. After that, I'm going to remove the adhesive tape and I'll have a neat and precise top stitch. The pocket flap is sewn on in the same way, aligning as close to the pocket as possible, ensuring it overlaps the pocket and make a stitch. All that's left is to insert the cord. You can use a safety pin, but my cord easily slides into the casing on its own. And this is the final result. Probably this is going to be my favorite skirt for now. I'm so pleased with how it turned out. And the skirt cost me only $12 in total. If you enjoyed this video, you can give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. More photos of the skirt can be found on my Instagram. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next videos. Bye!